Adventure Sports HQ, professional grade laser tag equipment. Next, we're gonna go to Edit Weapon. Edit Weapon is where we choose whether indoor or outdoor power. In some of our former videos, when we did it, you're actually gonna see indoor power could hit within a half inch. With our system, because of the way the sensors have been engineered, and both our Revolution and our Legacy system, where you can check videos out on each one of those systems, is designed is that we can take that beam and hit it within a half inch. Now I'm gonna just demonstrate. I'm gonna back up here just a couple feet. I have a full clip. Kelly's active. I'm gonna test it and show you. Kelly can take hits. I'm gonna deactivate him. Okay, you're gonna see Kelly is gonna go into respawn mode using our new Revolution Tagger, who we'll demonstrate later. Now, I've set this to indoor minimum, which is our lowest setting, and I want you to watch this. Kelly's gonna turn sideways. A little bit more, there we go, right there. I just wanna hit one sensor. Now, check this out. All right, Kelly, face straight towards me. I am right in the middle of a sensor. We'll go ahead and turn towards the camera. There we go, so you can see this. Left. Right. So, now, next thing I'm going to demonstrate is I'm going to demonstrate bounce. I'm actually going to be firing behind Kelly. So I'm going to come closer to the camera. I'm going to put Kelly up towards the wall. Kelly's going to look at me. Left. Down. Reload. Right. There, onto the center. Watch this. I'm going to sweep right on the dot. So, what this shows to you is how accurate the sensors are. Now, the Adventure Sport system is so easy to work and configure. I'm going to change this to my outdoor maximum mode and I'm going to demonstrate what the other systems are like. Check this out. Kelly will respawn. I'm reloaded. I'm going to shoot my hand. This is what bounce is like. Alright, so I'm going to keep it to indoor power. We have between minimum and maximum, which is 0 to 100%. Sounds, we have military sounds, we have sci-fi sounds, and we have silent sounds. Now, look, this system uses a micro SD to hold the sound files. It is totally possible, and you will have the ability, if you choose, to go in and change your sound files. That will be a separate video, and that will be some engineering support we will gladly help you, but don't realize if you don't like our sounds, no big deal, put your own in, okay? So what you do once it gets to your house is your deal, not mine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use military sounds. I can set the mag size. I can set how fast it can reload, whether it's fully automatic, semi-automatic, burst. I'm gonna do burst, and I'm gonna do four, set, four rounds in a burst, and I can set my damage. So on this game, I'm playing 150 health, 17 points of damage, which means I can be hit nine times before I'm deactivated. Once I put the damage in, I choose my rate of fire called the cyclic. If I want a slow game, I go 350. If I want a fast game, I'm going to go ahead and hit 650. I can choose my muzzle flash on or off. Now, everybody take a mental break real quick. We've talked about a lot. You can edit the game. You can edit the weapon. The reason we have them broken down into those different sections is because if you want to change up a game, you don't need to go through everything. You just hit edit game, you change it, and then you can clone it. Please remember to like and subscribe to keep up with Adventure Sports HQ events and products. To learn more about the Revolution system, please click the following videos.